What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am and if you are having a fantastic day then you need to comment the word alphabet down below to prove that you are in fact capable of being intelligent in typing a comment. I don't even have a good reason today okay? I just really like when my videos get a lot of comments makes me feel good makes me all giggly. Anyways guys what's going on? It's your boy Scrub here and uh, I just got back from Target you know your boy was going for some uh, some shopping supplies and I walk into Target and witnessed a mom go absolutely ballistic on a manager and uh, it was it was pretty entertaining and I was like I know who's going to love this and it's going to be you guys so uh, I just got back I'm whipping up the video right now it, it's it's gonna be a good one so uh, yeah without further ado let's get into it so I woke up this morning and wanted to make something for breakfast and I started looking around my kitchen and realized I didn't have something that I needed to make this breakfast okay but I had woken up in the morning very excited to eat this for breakfast and so I was dedicated to getting it I was like look my first meal of the day is going to be this and I'm, I'm not kidding I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that I get what I want for breakfast right so I have to go get this like couple cooking utensil things and the store that's nearest to my house is a, is a target so I'm like whatever I'll just go to target really quick and get it and then I'll come home it'll take me you know 15 20 minutes and I'll get my breakfast I'll be hyped it'll be exciting I'll have the beautiful start to this you know magnificent morning and everything will be great because I don't know about you okay but I'm a big fan of a good breakfast a good breakfast Breakfast on a weekend morning is just the greatest thing to ever enter your life. So I was willing to do it. So I have my car. I pull down a Target. You know, I'm listening to Amigos. <sighs> walk it, I got it, walk it, walk it, I got time. I'm just doing my thing, going what I doing what you do on your way to Target. I don't really know. I was just living life. So whatever. I roll into Target and uh, I'm going through. I get what I need to get and I'm waiting in line to check out. And all this is probably maybe three minutes. I knew where I was. Like I, I get in and I get out and I'm sitting in line. And there's a lady behind me, right? And she's, you know, got her arms crossed. She's tapping her foot and like going like, <sighs> and like looking at her watch very often, very annoyingly too, like way too often, you know, like very clearly trying to get everyone's attention. So she's behind me, hacking up along, tapping her foot. <sighs> um, uh, uh. And, I, and I look at her and I go, do you want to go in front of me? And she's like, oh my gosh, if you wouldn't mind, if you wouldn't mind, oh my gosh, like if you wouldn't mind. I'm like, oh no, sorry. Uh, I just want to make sure because it sounds like you're having a stroke behind me in line and it's obnoxious. Like you can go in front of me. I don't, I don't tell her she's being annoying, but I'm like, yeah, you can go in front of me. And the tapping and everything stops, which means she's next in line. Like, listen, if you want to cut in front of me in line, just tap me and go, hey, I have a problem. It's kind of time sensitive. Is there any way that I can go in front of you? And I would say, yeah, sure, cool, because I'm not a bad person, but when you're going to sit behind me and just like, ah, um, I'm, um, oh, I, I might be late, and like make me have to awkwardly ask if you want to go in front of me, it's just, it's just not the nice thing to do, okay? Like, come on, just be honest, you're a big girl, tell us that you want to go in front of us in line. So it becomes her turn, and this cashier lady, who definitely does not control the stocking of the store, immediately gets an earful of, um, excuse me, excuse me, I cannot believe the ridiculous amount of professionalism that is being non displayed played here and I'm like oh my gosh I just let a Karen cut in front of me in line dude like listen okay she seemed annoying when she was you know standing behind me having a seizure but I, I didn't realize that she was gonna be like a Karen okay she seemed relatively normal like just maybe a little socially awkward but as soon as she starts yelling at this girl for you know not displaying professionalism I uh, I immediately was like ugh, great this is what I have to listen to I just want to go home and eat my breakfast okay so she starts talking about how um, she was online looking for this Lego set that has sold out everywhere. And, and she's looking at Target.com and she says, It said that there was one in your store and I came in and there's none. And no one wants to help me or find a way for me to get this Lego toy when it said that it was in stock on the website. And I need to talk to somebody in charge here. And like the girl who's the cashier standing there kind of like, what? 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 What are you? What are you talking about? And so she tries to explain to this woman, hey, I don't have any control over the website or what it is that's in stock. I don't work in the stock room. I'm a cashier. I don't I don't really know what you're talking about. So let me try to find somebody who can help you, but I don't I don't really know. And you know what this jerk of a soccer mom says? She says, That's fine, I've got all day. What excuse me, you were just hacking up a lung behind me, begging me to let you go in front of me in line, and, and then now you're gonna say you've got all day? Like well then what was the rush? So at this point I kinda scoff a little bit, like I'm like Ugh. 
And and she looks at me and goes, excuse me, am I bothering you? And I go, well, you know, you were standing there being incredibly impatient and, like, making me let you cut in line. And now you have all day. You, it, there's no urgency at all. It doesn't matter to you when this gets done. And she's like, oh, quit being so dramatic. And I'm like, all right, okay. And shockingly, I'm able to keep my mouth shut. I just kind of go back to looking down. And it is, you know, I wake up kind of late, so it's like, it's that awkward time in a store where the other lines are too long, where, like, you don't want to leave, you know? All the lines are pretty long, it's not like there's an opening anywhere else, so I'm just kind of standing there, and, uh, you know, the lady comes back and she goes, Hey, my manager's gonna come over here and talk to you, is that okay? And she's like, awesome, great. And so the cashier goes, alright, can you step to the side so I can help other customers? Because at this point, it's me and, like, one other person behind me now in line. And the lady looks and goes, excuse me, you want me to let you get back to your work when there's an upset customer right here? Does that seem like the type of decision your boss would want you to make? And she's like, uh... Honestly, I've never talked to the CEO of Target. I don't know what he'd want me to do. I'm just a cashier. Those people behind you look like they want to leave, so I'm trying to get them checked out. And the lady, you know is kind of throwing a fit and whatever, and then the manager comes over and uh, pulls her off to the side, so thankfully I can check out. And, and I walk up to the to the girl who, you know, had just gotten, like, yelled at and was like, Ah, how dare you not have this toy that is in stock, thou foul beast. So I step up, and I don't realize that the woman is pretty close to me, and so I kind of say, boomers, am I right? Like, as a joke to her, because she's about my age, and I'm like, wow, I remember working in customer service, and it sucked when somebody was like that. And I guess the lady heard me say something. She goes, excuse me, young man, did you say something? And I look, and I, like, smile, right? Because it's f I, I called her a boomer, and she was like, excuse me? While she's talking to the manager of a Target. So I'm kind of like, uh, nothing. And she's like, oh, no, no, say it, say it. And I said, boomers, am I right? And she's like, oh, you think just because I'm old, I don't have rights? And I'm like, that's literally not what that means at all. Like, that's almost the exact opposite of what it means. I'm so sure that's not what I meant by that, that, like, if, if I am insulting you with that, then I guess I must be speaking Mandarin. Like, you must be hearing a different language, because it basically just means, like, you're out of touch with reality, you know? And so... <laughs> She starts being like, oh my goodness, you young kids all think you're the same. Look at you. You came to the store in your pajamas? That's disgusting. And it was not pajamas, just to clarify. Okay, I'm wearing sweatpants. And so I'm like, ma'am, these are sweatpants. And she's like, people leaving the house like that is what's wrong with society. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this girl has very clearly never had the comfort of sweatpants wrapped around herself in her entire life. She's mad about that. So I'm just kind of laughing. I'm like, okay. Okay, sure. And she, like, looks at the manager and says, Are you gonna do anything about that man? And the manager is kind of, like, looking at me, you know? Kind of irritated, because obviously... I, I shouldn't have said anything. I'm not gonna lie. Like, if I was the manager, I'd be a little annoyed with me too, because I'm just kind of stirring the pot a little bit. But that's what I do. All right. I'm not, I don't. I don't. I don't make videos to keep my mouth shut. I make my videos to make my mouth become open. And so the manager is kind of like, well, ma'am, you know, he has the ability to make his comments. She goes, wow, so you're going to let that person, you know, make a comment about me, but, you know, how dare, what, whatever. She's get mad. She's speaking gibberish, okay? It's an angry old woman, angry that somebody said you're not that important. No big deal. Newsflash, none of us are that important. You, no one is important enough to hold up a line in a public place, ever. Like, it's just not, it's not possible. I don't care who you are, bro. If the president was in there and asked me to wait half an hour to buy my breakfast, utensils, I would have said, listen, Mr. President, you're cool and all, but, uh, I'm really trying to go home and make breakfast, and I don't really care what you're up to. I need to go in front of you. Like, you know, I, it was just what I should have done. I was trying to be a nice person. Moral of the story is don't be a nice person, I guess. But regardless, the manager's kind of there, and she's like, oh, whatever. And so she starts saying, explaining to the manager very loudly, so I can hear it, of course, um, that, uh, last night she had checked to make sure that this toy was in stock. Um, and last night it was there and now it's not and she needs somebody to remify the situation or remedy the situation because uh, Her son really really wants this toy and if he doesn't get it Then it's gonna be all targets fault and she'll never shop here again yada 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 You know because it's really their fault and so the manager is trying to explain to this boomer this old woman that hey If it said it last night someone could have come in and bought it from when you checked to now because it's like 10 in the morning somebody who went oh my gosh this toys in stock there's only one left i better go get it quick could have come into the store and and gotten the toy you know like it's not out of the realm of possibility that somebody else also wanted it and came in and got it before her and she goes that's not fair which 
Sorry, lady, I don't know what to tell you. You saw there was one in stock last night, and instead of getting up and going to get it, you decided to gamble and roll the dice, and now it's not there. I don't understand how that's not fair. What, do they need to make one specifically for you and stamp pain in the butt on his little, you know, action figure butt cheek, whatever it was? Like, I I'm sorry, you're not that important. No one's gonna hold this stuff for you. So the manager basically says what I just said in a much more important way, saying, if another customer got it before you, there's not much I can do. Um... Yeah, I'm sorry, but like there really isn't much that I can do about it. And this woman, when is she told, no, there's nothing I can do to get you the toy, looks at him and goes, do you want to ruin my son's Christmas? And the manager's kind of like, uh, and she goes, because I will burn this place to the ground if I don't get my toy. And at this point, the manager is kind of like, uh, ma'am, what did you just say? And she goes, I will burn this place to the ground if I don't get this toy. Do you understand how much this means to me? I don't think you do. I will burn this place to the ground. And at this point, the manager is kind of looking around at everybody else, and we're all standing there like, bruh, I don't know what you want me to do about it. I was not trained in how to deal with Karens. The difference is I was. And uh, I, don't, I don't say anything, though, because at this point, she's already mad at me. She's threatening to burn down a target. I'm not really trying to have her follow me to my car. You know, like, that's not something I'm down for. I deal with crazy people enough. So uh, we're just all kind of standing there. Manager's like, ma'am, I think you need to leave. And she's like, how dare you try to make me leave after everything? You let this customer be rude to me. You let your cashier be rude to me. And now you're going to kick me out. I will be calling corporate. I don't care who you think you are. I'll burn this place to the ground. And everyone in it's getting fired. Do you hear that? Everyone. Everyone is getting, like, just... At having a conniption. So everyone in Target is obviously visibly scared that they're going to lose their jobs. I'm, I'm kidding. But, you know, she's causing a massive scene right by the checkout. And on the register next to me is, like, these two guys that look like they're about to go work construction. You know, they're in the bright orange shirts. They're just chilling. And one of them goes, ah, shut up. And she goes, who do, who said that? Who said that? Who, who said that? And they're like, I did. Who do you think you are? Rah, rah, rah. Do you speak to your wife like that? Just going off on everyone. So at this point, she's causing fights in the store. So the manager goes, ma'am, I, I think you need to leave. And he, like, puts his hand on her arm to try to, you know, direct her towards the door in, like, a nice way. Okay, listen. Should he have grabbed her? I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do in this situation if there's someone having a panic attack in your store. But he, he doesn't, like, shove her. He just kind of grabs her and says, all right, ma'am, it's time to leave, and, like, pulls her towards the door a little bit. And she starts screaming, oh, my God, he's attacking me. The manager is attacking me. The manager of Target is attacking me. Somebody film this. I need it for my... Just like, oh, my God, lady, go away. So after a struggle and more screaming about how she's going to sue everyone in Target and how everyone here we'll be hearing from her lawyer and she's calling the police they finally get her to leave she finally leaves right and during all this i still have not gotten my breakfast cooking utensils all right I i'm still not eating my num nums and the manager comes over and he apologizes to me. He goes, you know, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, dude, I'm s like, that's insane. How often do you deal with stuff like this? And he looks at me and he goes, eh, it's the holiday season. So probably two, three times a day. And I go, that happens two or three times a day. He goes, yeah, man, I don't know what it is about Christmas time, but like it makes moms go insane. I've been getting yelled at four times a week, you know, uh, more than that ever since Thanksgiving. It's been getting worse as time's gone on. And I'm like, dude, how do you deal with this stuff? He goes, eh, it's not that bad. It's pretty entertaining. So he's like, I am sorry, though. You, you shouldn't have egged her on. I'm like, yeah, I mean, it happens. Like, oh, well. Oh, it, oh well. She's gone now. No big deal. And he's like, yeah, okay. Well, I'm super sorry about that. And uh, I like your pajamas because I was wearing Star Wars pajamas because uh, I'm just classy. They're not pajamas, though. They're sweatpants. They're like black sweatpants that have a monogram Darth Vader on the leg. So I get why they look like pajamas, but they're not. They're sweatpants. Oh, I hate having to explain this to people, dude. Why, why does it matter anyways? What if I wanted to wear pajamas? Who cares? Why do you care? So I checked out, went home, and ate my breakfast wearing my Star Wars sweatpants and wearing the brand new Scrubby Christmas merch. Da -da -da -da, merch plug. Real talk, though, guys. The Christmas merch is banging. Uh, today is the last day you can order it and get it before Christmas, so if you haven't ordered it yet, please go over to the Teespring store down below and get yourself some of the Christmas merch or even the normal merch. It makes a great Christmas present. You guys should get it. Uh, it does help support the channel a lot but on that note guys that's gonna do it for the video be sure to press the like button comment down below if you enjoyed today's notification shout out goes to the always drastically incredible roid rage big shout out to you for having on notifications if you want a notification shout out turn them on send a screenshot to my instagram at scrubby and i shout somebody out every single day of the week real talk guys uh you could also use code scrubby at the g fuel checkout if you want to support the channel uh follow me on twitter at scrubby underscore 69 remember that
very important life lesson, kids, which is to not get anyone pregnant unless they're as hot. Have yourselves an absolutely incredible day, and I'm really drastically close to 15 minutes, and that's going to look way more aesthetic on my channel than 1447. So I'm just going to say a bunch of random stuff now until we get to 15 minutes. Apple bottom, flapjacks, maybe a little bit of breakfast. What's your guys' favorite breakfast food? I don't think any of you guys are still watching, but it's for the aesthetic. La 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 la.